Last week we debated our hemp motion and it resulted in a successful move to an inquiry, meaning that the hemp inquiry will be referred to committee. Uh, what will happen in that committee is that we'll review what issues there are to the hemp economy in Victoria, um, what red tape there may be that's holding the industry back. Um, what we know currently is that in Victoria we have only six growers and uh, under 200 hectares of hemp currently being grown. Around the world we see that industrial hemp as an industry is flourishing. But what's going wrong in Australia? We know that Canada legalised industrial hemp around the same time as Australia and the Canadian model shows that there is a revenue stream of 587 million annually comparative to what's happening here nationally is only around 15 million. We heard from some of our stakeholders and the wonderful Brett brought this along which actually provides information around how you can grow enough hemp to build a house in 100 days. Now opportunities like this are so fruitful because we are suffering a housing crisis here in Victoria. Following on from the Victorian government's announcement around ending native logging, we have a real opportunity here to present hemp as a viable alternative. We know that when it comes to hemp and the environment, there is so much opportunity there for carbon sequestration, for hempcrete and for building materials in particular that are fire resistant, continue to absorb carbon through their life cycle and are made from hemp so it grows very quickly. We're not talking about cutting down forests anymore. So leave it with us and see what we can do.